All right, we got a Barska in a box. We're going to be doing an unboxing today of this Barska biometric safe. Got this off of Amazon. This is the shape it came in. They snuck it around the side of the house, so it got rained on too. So we'll see if it even works. But uh, as you see here, it's got a little bit of a pleasure hole there. Uh, everything else seems decent. So this is going to be a biometric safe from Barska. Uh, this is going to be a competitor to this keypad type of safe here. So if you're into a little less, uh, you know, tech or PNB safe, great. But if you want that biometric opening mechanism, uh, you'll want this Barska. Now, I think Lucky Gunner did a safe uh, review on this type of safe like four or five years ago. So there was a 65% chance of it opening so um, i also have other safes like fort knox these are going to be the safes like a bump in the night those are the types of safes i'll be using for that kind of a situation where i need to retrieve say my rifle or whatnot but fort knox feline i'll get those to those later but today we just got this barska uh we're gonna be doing the unboxing so we need to start with our oj gloves for safety uh so that's how we always start our unboxings now I always want the safety of the OJ gloves. We'll be using a uh, Gonzo with a uh, carbon fiber handle. So let's get going. All right, here we go. First slice. Let's get the top off here. Let's see what's inside. Yeah, uh, this thing did get rained on pretty good. So keep that in mind. Let's get this out a little bit here. Just this here. All right. Hopefully it's not damaged. This top one can you see? All right. Thank God. All right, let's open this up. Let's see how this goes. Gonzo knife goes. This Gonzo is nice and sharp. I'll put a link below or about that. There we go. Put on the screen how much I paid for this thing, some stats, quick overview. Links will be below. All right, so check the condition real quick. It looks fine so far, so I would hate to have to repackage this thing, put it back. I wonder how the return process would go, but let's not find out. So this is a little bit more manageable than the RPMB safe. The RPMB being a five rifle safe and close to 100 pounds, it's a little bit hard to manage with just one dude doing it. Oh, look at this. So we got, uh, I guess this is the battery box there. Oh, this one actually comes with batteries. These are some high quality warrior batteries here. These are just your standard. Batteries. I guess this is a battery box. This is an external battery box. I'm not sure if it's external or not. There's your barrel keys. And these would be your floor mounts or wall mounts. So there's your hardware. All right. This is going to be a big foamy mess. Pleasure to do on camera. Alright, let's cut this bag. I want to see it. Alright, first impressions. It's got a pretty good, strong finish. Doesn't seem it's going to scratch too easily. So that's good. Uh, here's the. There is the BIOS. Metric scanner. Everything actually looks like it's in good shape so far, so that's good. Alrighty. Let's see here. It's kind of funny doing this on camera. It's like, how do I do it presentably? I don't think there is a presentably. <laughs> Thing. I think I can 
cool it out. This is a definitely expert unboxing here. Out. Definitely quite a bit smaller than the RPMB. Right. <laughs> quite a bit smaller than the RPMB safe, as you can see. The two next to each other here. Yeah, this is very, very petite. Uh, mm -hmm. So let's go ahead, uh, let me get the batteries inside and then uh, we'll open it up. All right, so I think they want me to use this next thing here to get into the, uh, use the barrel key access. If I owned this thing, I'd probably just leave this off because I just don't. Say if you need this to be your retrieval gun safe, I would probably just let that thing. At least keep that one off so you can just slide it and use the barrel key. Just in case you have any problems with the biometric part of it. So, but here we go. Should be able to get in from here. Ah, oh, there we go. Little inside the basket safe. Let's go ahead and put the batteries in here. Let's see the bolts here. Got little baby, baby bolts, <laughs> tiny little bolts. Uh, let's open it again. I've locked it. All right, let's use these uh, fantastic warrior batteries. Uh, some of the best batteries you can use. Warrior brand batteries. So it takes four of these double A batteries. it's on so there you go imagine there's gonna be some reprogramming uh, don't know what this is for yet is this a, to recharge them or something maybe these are rechargeable so let me go ahead and figure out what all this stuff is for and we'll be right back all right, this is an external powering box. So if your batteries go dead inside the safe, you simply put your batteries in here and you put it down, insert into the hole right there, and you can externally operate your biometric scanner or you can just use your keys. Um, so that's what this box is for. Do not recharge those batteries. They will explode. So let's get to actually getting this thing working. All right, so when it comes to like reprogramming this little thing, just move this little nipple back here, press the button once. Now you can keep repeating this process. You should do it in multiple locations on your finger, uh, but it seems to function pretty well so far. I'll be doing more tests later on in my official video. This is just the unboxing video, but so we'll give you a quick demonstration. Simply push a button. So far it's been working great. Now when it comes to size, uh, this is supposed to be a four rifle or shotgun safe, I would say. Now I would say there's an AK, it's not gonna fit magazine but you can get a AK without magazine inside <laughs> sideways there put your magazine up there now you can stuff another one in uh, so this is going to be a well let's say a storage type of uh, safe Surprise in something, unless it's a shotgun type thing, something you're gonna could retrieve with anything that has ready to say shoot or whatnot. For a rifle, you have to replace your magazines up here, maybe slide them sideways. So yeah, it's a bit smaller than this RPMB safe. Just keep that in mind. So that's just our quick little unboxing video. We'll get to testing the biometric scanner to see how reliable it is in a future video. So that's all for now.